Hi everyone, welcome to the Movie Seption Show. My name is Fariba, and today I want to take the time to talk about The Pope's Exorcist, which is the latest supernatural horror thriller now out in theaters, and I actually had a chance to go and check it out last week in theaters. So let's get right down into it. Now, I will kind of warn a little bit that I wasn't the biggest fan of this movie. I think that given the fact that the trailer gave it so much potential, I did feel a little disappointed with the overall part that we get out of this movie. Now, Having said that, I will say for one thing that Russell Crowe as the Pope is pretty digestible um, because he doesn't have this sort of characterization as a typical serious Pope that we see in most supernatural films that we get or heck, let alone the uh, television shows that we get. I think that one of the things I did enjoy is that he does have a bit of this funny bone as a character, which kind of makes it a bit more interesting regarding his characterization as well as kind of uplifting a little bit of the energy and tone of the room that has been mostly been pretty serious and kind of bland for the most part. Now, having said that about Russell Crowe, I think overall there's one way to really describe this movie. It's just super bland with a capital B. Like the story was super bland. There wasn't anything too interesting about the final product of this movie. It doesn't add any value to kind of the supernatural horror movie genre that we know pretty well of that's been pretty vast and well, you know, uh, explored in the movie genre of itself. Uh, I think the issue is that when you go into this movie, right, the movie doesn't really take the time to really divest into the family being haunted by the demon. Yeah, I mean, for one thing, it does cover the groundwork of those stuff and, you know, quickly going through the exposition of it. But even then, like with the main parts of the demon, it doesn't really add much substance or engagement to what we are developing throughout this story. And I think that again adds to kind of why the movie itself felt really bland, really boring, nothing too much of value. Again, I'm gonna keep on saying this. This movie is super boring. Like I really felt like I really wanted to just leave the theater just because of how un enthusiastic how uninteresting the story itself was like when you compare this movie to things like the conjuring where it has really done such a great job of establishing the storytelling putting in the balance of the horror and the suspense and really just kind of establishing a whole new level of how to explore supernatural horror movies and even then when you compare this movie to kind of something that's a bit more basic and setting up the groundwork and foundation of that whole specific genre the Pope's Exorcist is still just isn't there. It doesn't really elevate stuff in any other way. And I think that's, again, because of the fact that it's just super boring, super bland. It doesn't really have anything too uh, digestible in terms of its storytelling. And again, even when you have someone as Russell Crowe in this movie, it doesn't really save much of what is left of this movie. Now, I will say for one thing, if there's anything salvageable about this movie, it is the ending. And that is because they do kind of add this threat that is a demon. Uh, I think for one thing, they really do establish that there's a mystery behind this demon that becomes a bit interesting in a way here and there because again someone as me who has watched so much of a supernatural stuff whether it be the movies and tv shows it did have me you know trying to guess who the specific demon was that they were accounting so i think for one thing that was probably the most redeeming factor of this movie but again it wasn't enough to kind of save this movie in its whole entirety now having said some of the positive things about this movie such as the elements with the devilish demon and the different outlook with the priest the movie just falls flat for the most part it doesn't mesh itself really well to bring together all the aspects into this movie to make it so that it is interesting especially with the whole supernatural biblical influence sort of device onto the big screen now again one of the biggest things with the story is that's too muddled by trying to keep any sort of interest like again like the story itself doesn't really explore much of the other characters and by the time you do get to the end of the film it does feel like you are trying to wick yourself up from sort of this snooze fest and again that's the last thing that i really want to say about this movie like as if it's super boring and super bland but that's just how i felt like i wish there could have been something a bit more substantial about this movie could have done a bit more into discovering with the whole devilish aspects the demon the supernatural parts the suspense of it all and it just wasn't there even if it tried to and I, I think the best way to kind of give it sort of its rating i'll just give it maybe i'll give it like a really generous two out of five star if, again if there's one thing i will say kind of at least brought my interest back on is for one thing russell crowe and his characterization of this character that wasn't again too serious of itself there was something a bit about him that made him a bit more funny a bit more humorous that again kind of living up the spirits a little bit watching this movie and i think the ending does again have some parts where again having gone through the snooze of you know the 
first and second act. The third act does at least wake you up a little bit to see how it does end off its thing, especially once they do figure out who this demon is and what they plan to do in terms of the whole film itself. Like, I think I've been hearing rumors about a sequel, so I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> But yeah, that's all I have to say about The Pope's Exorcist. That's how I think about it. I probably might not see this movie ever again. Um, that's just how much I felt about this movie strongly, that it just didn't have the interest that I wanted out of this movie. And it just feels a bit disappointed. But yeah, that's all I have to say about The Pope's Exorcist. Let me know what your thoughts are. Have you seen the movie? If you have not, I don't recommend it. If you have, what are your thoughts about it overall? Do you agree with my opinions? Do you not agree with it? What are some? What are your thoughts about this movie? What do you did like? What you did not like? What do you think could have been better? What do you think did actually work out well for the film? Do you think there's actually going to be a sequel, as being rumored, sort of right now in the internet sphere? Let me know in the comments down below, and make sure to like and subscribe.